In 2022, more people than ever are looking for bold, expressive frames. So in today's video, I've brought together eight of the very best thick acetate frames from all over the world and from some of the world's very best eyewear designers to give you the best showcase of chunky frames and hopefully give you some inspiration for your next pair of glasses. So hi, I'm Robert, Style and Vision Consultant here at the Spectacle Factory, and it's my job to pair you with your perfect pair of glasses. And for many of us, our next perfect pair of glasses is gonna be something along these lines. Something that's very bold, very overstated, very impactful, and above all, very cool. In 2022, this kind of style is very on trend and people are going for bigger and thicker frames than ever before. So without further ado, let's try some glasses on and I'm gonna tell you all the little details that go into all of these frames. And let's go right to left because probably the most mainstream designer of chunky frames are Gucci. So let's start with Gucci. This model I've featured on the channel before and I am a really big fan. They are a really cool, really unusual shaped, thick acetate frame that combines black, which is just quintessential when it comes to this kind of look, with a yellow interior, which really catches the light and makes these glasses appear different from different angles. I love that effect. It's one of my favorite effects when it comes to frames, that combination of different colors, one outside, one inside, to give an almost three-dimensional aesthetic. This is the Gucci 1040, and it is really one of my favorite frames of the year so far, and a contender for best glasses of the year. Meanwhile, and I really wanted to show you this frame today because this gives a slightly softer but still as impactful look as the first frame. This one is the Gucci 1086 and you see it here in this smoke grey colour, which for me is by far the best colourway of this frame. It's a typical wayfarer shape, but clearly in a much thicker, bolder material than one would usually see. Because this is a slightly paler frame, I think this is going to combine really well with pretty much any lens tint, especially because it's a neutral grey. And that is in contradiction to the general theme with chunkier frames. I do talk about tints a lot on this channel and I generally recommend them on most glasses nowadays. But the one time that I might consider avoiding them would be on a heavy frame like these. And the reason is because they're kind of doing enough on their own. You don't really need to add much to them. At best, I'd probably add a very slight tint, maybe 12 to 20%. One of the best things about frames like this is that if you do combine them with photochromic lenses where they change in the sun, they're gonna look like proper sunglasses and you don't really get that effect from most glasses with photochromic lenses. All of the ones on this table, you definitely would. So I would say that all of these frames are a good candidate to add photochromic lenses to. But back to the 1086, it's such a, quirky, cool, and very Gucci style, even down to the really thick temples. I think the temples on this frame are the thickest on the table. Maybe the Barton Pereira Domino just beats it out in that respect. But what I really like is that the transparent material also belies the gold metalwork that's on the inside. And that is a really lovely touch. I also kind of like the diamond rivets. There's a lot to love with this frame. It's one of the best Gucci releases in a long time and a very, very cool style. Now, next up, I could barely contain my excitement to show you a new brand to this channel, which is Robert LaRoche. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail about Robert LaRoche because I wanna leave that for the grand unveiling where we do a full showcase of the brand. But needless to say, these are as beautiful quality as all the other styles that I've got for you here today. You can tell they're a handmade frame. You can tell they are very well sculpted, beautifully finished, and all of that is done in Italy. I really like the gold hinges. You can tell that those are super robust and these are just gonna last forever. But this frame, which is the Eves, comes in this gorgeous, rich, green, transparent material. And green is one of my favorite colors in eyewear. I have a couple of frames that come in this kind of color. It's one of my favorites to wear because it's not only interesting and unique, but it's also very wearable. You can wear this kind of color frame, I think, with most outfits. And maybe it is slightly on the more casual side, but you could wear it in a formal environment too. Robert LaRoche specialise in these chunky, thick acetate frames. It's really their trademark. So I couldn't not feature them in this video today. Again, the transparent material shows off lovely attention to detail on the arms. That could have easily been done in just plain metal work, but the filigree detail gives these glasses an extra edge and an extra little bit of character. But I also wanted to show these because they represent the fact that a chunky, thick frame doesn't just have to be a rectangle. In a round style, it can work too. I think rounder glasses are harder to pull off in a thick material, and there's definitely a fine line where you can go really too thick and they just look 
almost silly. But this frame, I think, is on the right side of that edge. I think it's a lovely frame, a really cool style. Subscribe for more if you want to learn more about Robert LaRoche in future. But before we move on, this is just the most awesome, boxy, chunky, eye-catching tortoise shell style. This one is the Harry and it's very square, as you will see. The corners of this frame are deliberately as pointed and as square as possible. Almost to the extent of being ironic, but as a statement frame, could you really ask for more than these? And yes, I am aware that there's a bright orange frame on the table. Perhaps the Vincent, which we're gonna to get to next, is slightly more of a statement. But in terms of pure shape, what a shape. I mean, it is literally a rectangle, a perfect rectangle. Maybe that's not the shape that I would choose, but if you're into your big, square, thick, chunky frames, this one is just gotta, it's gotta be the winner, hasn't it? You couldn't really get a better version of this kind of style. And it's definitely gonna be quite a controversial frame. I can tell that people are gonna either love it or hate it. It's not gonna be for everyone, but isn't that true of most of the best things in life? If you want frames that are really going to make a statement and really get comments from other people, hopefully positive, the Harry is the one for you. And another great example of Robert LaRoche and the beautiful designs that they come up with. I can't wait for you to see my full video on them. I mentioned the Vincent, and the Vincent from LAI Works is everything that LAI Works are about encapsulated within a frame. They make the most fun, the most colorful, the most wacky and wild frames in the world. I mean, they're from LA. If you think of the characters that will be on the streets in Los Angeles, you can see that these are the kind of glasses that those kind of people are gonna wear. I think it's awesome. Again, not really my kind of taste, but the person who wears this frame is gonna wear it with such confidence that it's gonna just be part of them. And if you have the right personality for this frame, this frame has the right personality for you. I wanted to showcase a style that incorporated color into a really thick frame. The really glossy hand-done finishing on this frame means that it catches the light wonderfully and that adds to the effect of the color as well. And after saying how colorful LAI Works was as a brand, it's ironic that they have the only pure black frame on the table today. But I wanted to pick this one out because I wanted you to see how a chunky thick frame looks in pure black. I do think this one called the Ivar is a very good example of a black frame done in this kind of shape and size with this thickness of material. The trademark triple rivets that join the arm to the front are very visible and contrast really nicely against the color of the frame. Certainly a good example of LAI works and the kind of fashionable styles that they come out with. So compared to black, tortoiseshell is always going to be that little bit easier to pull off. And this is quite a dark tortoiseshell from Barton Pereira. This one is called the Kiza. And it is actually done in a slightly thinner acetate as well. All of those things combined to make this one open up on my face, as opposed to the Ivar, which was very closed on my face, if that makes sense. If you're looking for something that is still bold, but doesn't dominate too much, a frame like the Kiza is perfect. Again, slightly thinner, slightly softer in color, and also slightly expanded to give space around the eyes, which just makes them a bit more balanced in my opinion. And I, I really like the Kiza. It's one of my favorite models within Barton Pereira's collection. One of my favorite touches on the Kiza, which you do see on a lot of Barton Pereira styles, is the faceted top edge, which has a beautiful play on the light as it reflects. Although this is a relatively simple color, I mean, tortoiseshell is probably the most common color for frames. I defy you to find a better tortoiseshell than what Barton Pereira are producing. And that goes for their entire collection. The way that it's all hand polished, hand finished, handmade in Japan means that they just have that edge over pretty much any other tortoiseshell style. Having said that, the Robert LaRoche does come close and I'm gonna be telling you more about them soon. Although Barton Pereira are, in my opinion, still the best manufacturer of simple acetate frames, whether that's thinner or thicker as you see in the Kiza. And I couldn't film this video, you know I couldn't film this video without featuring the Midnight Blue. My self-professed favorite colorway maybe ever, but certainly of 2022, is the Matte Midnight, which is a lovely blue color. It's almost iridescent. This one, particularly with the matte finish, is just to die for. And the Domino is probably the best style that Barton Pereira are producing right now. It works in a variety of colors, but the Midnight Blue I had to have on the table. It's just a wonderful, great example of a chunky frame. Again, the blue softens it compared to how it would look in black, but 
it's still quite dark against the skin. It's just that when you catch the light, particularly when you're outdoors, if it's sunny, the blue really shines out from this frame and that is a lovely effect. This is also maybe more so than any of the others apart from that particular Gucci, the best one to combine with a photochromic lens because with a blue photochromic lens combined with the blue frame, you have an amazing pair of sunglasses when you're outdoors. So that's the domino. And that wraps up our video. I really hope you've enjoyed this showcase of some of the best chunky acetate frames in the world. I hope it's given you some inspiration and I hope it's kind of convinced you to maybe give them a try for your next pair of glasses. But what do you think of chunky frames? Are they for you? Maybe not. Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. And if you want to learn more about eyewear, subscribe to the channel because I love showcasing frames like this for you guys. Anyway, I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks guys. Bye-bye.